Hey Earth Signs, welcome to Pure Black Magic Tarot, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is your weekly energy update for July the 2nd through the 8th. Give or take a couple of days, very general messages for the Earth Sign Collective, so please do not force this message to fit. Just take what resonates, leave what is not for the next person, Earth Signs. Um, we are experiencing a full moon this week as well, so we'll tap into the energies to see what full messages, full moon messages are coming out for you guys, as well as anything and everything else. And the cards are just kind of like real, um, real jumpy, real jumpy for you guys this week. Let me just see what this is. So we have romance and connection, and then we have mother, father, God. What's at the bottom? Let's see. Um, honesty and communication is here, okay? Um, so there could be something about like a mother. For some of you guys, there's something going on about like a mother-daughter dynamic because you have mother, father, God, and then you have um, this romance and connection here. But I feel like there's, there's something more so about like a mother-daughter dynamic, not necessarily like um, love regarding like a romantic partner, but there's something about like the love of a parent to a child or vice versa that's showing up here, earth signs. Um, there could, it's like a motherly energy. So um, there could be like someone in your life or someone that you are interacting with or meeting with this week that is serving as like, you know, like a mother figure or a supporter, a protector, a nurturer, okay? Or maybe you're this energy, this person for somebody else. Um, hmm, interesting. Manifestation and surrender. So I'm gonna put this back. That could resonate for some of you guys. Something about like a mother dynamic or a motherly type energy is, is coming towards you. Um, some sort of support. This could be in a physical realm or the spiritual realm. Um, but there's some sort of communication here, like somebody is trying to um, communicate with you or help you to commu communicate something, like help you in terms of like your throat chakra earth signs. Um, but yes, let's hop into it. If you are new here, uh, just to let you know, partial of this video will be on YouTube. Um, the remainder of the video for all the weeklies and monthlies is posted on our Patreon platform. So if you would like to join us on Patreon at the 1111 tier, you can find that link in the description box below. Um, and of course, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, all that booking info is below as well. So let's see. Start off with the Angel Oracle deck for my Taurus Virgo Capricorns for this week. Clarity confirmation. I'm just getting like some sort of support, like a mentor. Um, and I mean, it could be masculine as well, but I'm just picking up on like a feminine mentor or support, whether it's in the physical or spiritual. Um, somebody's communicating with you or trying to communicate with you, earth signs. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So we have compassion. Okay, yeah, because there's it's like somebody is showing you compassion or grace or like giving you some sort of support or advice or guidance or they're trying to they're trying to get through to you if this is like on a, a, um, a spiritual sense or even in the physical there's somebody that's showing you some sort of compassion and grace and support i keep getting that somebody's actual name could be grace as well um and then we have no here okay hmm cut the cords Friendship and union. Ooh. So you got a lot of... And then you have clear, cancel, release. I'm going to have to clarify. You have a lot of like rejecting or need to reject um, or cleanse um, a particular energy here. Let's clarify earth signs to see what's going on. Okay. Now, outside of that whole um, like, you know, motherly dynamic, there's somebody here that's in your energy... Um, that may want your compassion. That's what I'm getting to, especially with this no and this cut the cords, friendship and union. Like somebody may want to be your friend or, you know, refriend you, reconcile some sort of friendship or relationship or something like that um, with you. Or there could just be, is somebody here that is either wanting your compassion or trying to show you some sort of compassion. But I feel like I feel like you can't help, you can't um, you can't help, you can't trust this person. Okay, some of y'all might have somebody around you where it's, it's like, you know, they portray themselves to be on your side, but that's not really the case. Let's clarify. Let's see. Let's see. Clarity confirmation. 
Now, also, it's just I, I keep getting somebody might want your forgiveness or want your compassion. Um, and not to say that you can't necessarily forgive this person, but I feel like forgiveness for this uh, particular individual does not come with like access, regaining access to you or maintaining some sort of access to you in your life. Um, especially with like cut the cords um, and clear, cancel and release showing up here. All right. Or there's something about a friend that you cannot trust. There's somebody that y'all can't trust around you, Earth Signs. And I don't know if they come across as if they have good intentions for you. Um, it seems like that's the case, okay? I don't know if you heard that in my background, but it was like a major, like a heavy door was shut. Um, I don't know. Y'all can't trust somebody. What's compassion? Clarity confirmation for my earth signs this week, Holy Spirit. What's going on here? The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords is here. Um, and the Four of Swords. Now, this might not even, I mean, for some of y'all, it is a feminine energy. It it may or may not be your own mom or somebody else's mom or like a mother-in-law or like somebody in the workplace. Um, it could be a friend. It's something like that showing up here. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. Let me see. Yeah, because look, the Nine of Wands is at the bottom. So this is you having your guard up or needing to have your guard up or defend yourself some type of way um, or to not like... I'm hearing peace offering, like not accept this peace offering. Male, feminine or masculine, somebody could be like trying to um, reconcile with you or make some sort of peace with you um, or offer you something here. But I don't know. Let me see. Three of Wands, the World card, the Emperor. Okay. So yeah, it could definitely be um, feminine or masculine because now we have the Emperor tied to the devil. Okay. Um Ooh we what's this no card for some of you there's somebody that's just like really trying you you know trying to come back around trying to something with you and you're already hip to this person um what's the no card you're already hip to this person who they are what their true motives and intentions are you possibly have like a um some sort of history with this person yeah we got the king of cups could be a water sign could be any sign it could be somebody that's emotionally manip manipulative with that king of cups the Eight of Wands is here and the Fool card is here. Yeah, it's the energy of like somebody's communicating with you. Um, and it feels like they're they're either wanting some sort of reconciliation. They're wanting another chance. They're not wanting you to fully detach. Um, they could be using somebody else as well or going through somebody else like, you know, to kind of like convince you. Um, let's just say like, if this is like a romantic partner or like an ex romantic partner, um, there's something about like maybe this person and their mom or their sister or like something like that. Um, it's like two different people, whether related or not could be in on, you know, whatever modus they have towards you, earth signs, trying to get you to fall into something, trying to keep you, you know, in a certain energy, trying to, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Like distract you. I don't know. All right. So let's see. But look, your mind is made up or you need to, you know, if you've already created some sort of boundary, you've already left something or someone behind, you've already made up your mind. You need to like keep it that way because it does feel like there's an influence that's trying to like persuade you. Um, but it's like, you know, better, you know, all you need to know. Yeah. The five of cups is here. Something about a water sign could be significant, um, or a fire sign, but I'm thinking about, I think it was the fire signs. I titled the reading like pity party. Like somebody might, you know, be having some sort of pity party or they might be like this victim. I don't know. Somebody's trying to play on your emotions, earth signs. All right. They could be like having this victim mentality, but like, that's not, it's something that's not your responsibility here. Something that, yeah, it's, it's none of your concern. All right, let me just see what this Ace of Swords is. And then we're going to we're gonna take this over to Patreon and see what else is going on. Get some more details. What's the Ace of Swords? Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit. It's like somebody's trying to get in your head about something or change your mind or persuade you. Somebody wants you to like um, view them as like innocent. That's something like innocent, like caring, um, compassionate, but I just don't, I'm not really feeling like 
you can trust this person with the no and the cut the cords. Maybe somebody's trying to convince you that they've changed or somebody's two-faced or they're, they're playing both sides. They're playing both roles. It's like maybe one minute or when they want you or they need you, they're playing very nice. But there's something fake about this energy, earth sign. So don't like fall for the temporary niceness or the gift or something like that. Five of Pentacles, the Temperance is here, and a Three of Swords is here. What's the Three of Swords? I feel like somebody or something has caused you enough pain. Okay, I'm getting like agony, sorrow, four of wands is here. Yeah, it's time for you to, there's there's a home, there's a relationship, there's there's something here um, or someone here, two of wands and a hermit card. All of this is like disconnecting, ghost in the situation, finding your peace and your balance. Um, so somebody or someone has caused enough damage, earth signs, or you just really need to trust your intuition when it comes to this energy because... Yeah, I just feel like you're better off without this help, this gift, this connection, this partnership, this business opportunity, whatever this is. I feel like you're better off without it. Yeah, look, strength card. You're better off on your own earth signs. Ten of swords, page of pentacles. Um, so I'm going to leave it here for YouTube. If you guys would like to join us on Patreon, the link is in the description box below. But if this is where we part ways, thank you guys.